People may look at me and think, I just do clinical observations. But I can do more than that. I'm a valued member of staff. And I'm competent in inhaler technique, the asthma plants, the pheno machine, peak flow. ECG, venipuncture, the list goes on and on. And there's also emotional support that we offer to our patients. And just being compassionate and kind because actually they're going through quite a lot coming in for surgery and it can be quite daunting. And it just makes them feel more reassured and a lot more relaxed. I am very privileged that I've got the time to sit with these parents and children to be able to explain their asthma plan and what's going to happen once they've gone home. I work for a low secure forensic mental health unit. I uh, rehabilitate people, do sports activities, teach patients how to cook. If they want to go to a college, I would assist them. Patients build this relationship with us. They open up about certain things, so we tend to bond a lot within this facility. Once you've built up that relationship, you can do amazing things with them. Bus trips and horse riding. It's given the client who has got learning disability time to get out of the unit. If my patients are not feeling well and I let my colleagues know, they trust my judgment and I believe that I am valued by them because they listen. It's more like a link bridge from my patients to my colleagues. Some would say we have the eyes and ears because we spend loads of time with a patient. You're having to be on alert 24-7. There's some days that you can't do nothing, and in other days you'll get a wee smile, so you take the positive for the good. Getting to help vulnerable people makes you feel proud because you know that you played a massive role to help change someone's life around. It would be a huge negative impact if people like me are not there. Ultimately, we're all here to help you on your journey. Compassion really is making sure that you're compassionate to their needs. I love my job and I wouldn't change it.